Hello everyone, my name is Rose and this is gonna be what what is this video really called? <laughs> I usually look at notes and I'm like, oh, this is not notes really. Um this is a update for my reading. Uh yes, so I've read fifty books this year. Yay, I made my goal. Um I read the fiftieth on I finished it the tenth of December, so I'm filming this like nine days after the tenth is like the nineteenth today. But, um, I finished 50! Yay! And now, um, I did redo my percentage of books read versus books I haven't read. And it's like, I think it was like 49 point something something. So basically 50! I'm counting it as 50. Which kind of surprises me, but I also have like, out of the like, books I have read, I have gotten rid of like quite a bit too. So I'm going to go through the other 25 because I did a video earlier this year and I did I did the 25 I read then and now this is the last half. But yeah. And if you want another video like this next year, next year my goal is to be lower. Like next year I want to read 30 books. But if you want another like two videos like this, just leave a comment. Even if I get one comment, I'm going to do it again next year. But I don't know if I'm... Because if you want to see it, Go ahead, even if one person wants to see it, leave a comment, I'll do it, even if I get just one comment, so, whatever, I just don't know if, I, people don't really watch these videos, I feel like, but maybe they do, I don't know, I like uh, book videos and book goals and stuff like that, so let's start with the 26th book, and last time, like, I was trying to read off dates, I have dates here, and I'm gonna leave them, leave them in the description box. Like I'm gonna do each book, and I'm gonna do the date I finished it on. So like, if you care about dates, and I feel like the dates really made me like aware of how many books I read because like, uh, these these are the numbers and these are the dates I finished. Cause I could like count up how many nines there are and be like I finished, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six books in September. Right? Wait, the ninth month is to September, right? Yeah, and be like, I finished that many books in September, and it's like, it was really good to keep myself accountable, having that right by the current book I'm reading, so it's like, great. So, first, the 26th book is this book, uh, A Wrinkle in Time. 26th book was this one, A Wrinkle in Time. It kind of confused me. I watched the movie, I watched the movie... About a year ago, maybe maybe two years ago at this point. I don't know. But I really liked the movie. The book kind of confused me. I kind of really liked it too. But I want to reread it and maybe see if it makes more sense. Because if it doesn't make more sense, I might get rid of it. So I don't know if I want to declutter this yet or not. But it, it's like a maybe I'll declutter it in the future kind of book. Okay, next is The Weird Sisters by Eleanor Brown. I like this book. It was it was not the usual book I read I read. Like I usually read like fantasy and like vampires and like supernatural stuff. Like I read that kind of stuff all the time. And this is just like about three sisters having to go back they each had to go back to their hometown for different reasons or something. And they each kinda discovered themselves kind of and I really liked this book and I would recommend it if you like like books like this like about like people and personalities and like finding yourself kind of books I would recommend it if you like those kind of books so yeah next I have this book which is The Dry Grass of August by Anna Jean uh, Mayhew I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I really like this book. Like, this book reminded me, it's kind of like The Help, but not. it's not The Help, too. It's like, but it's like that. It's like a African, like, made um, a book. So, and I like this way better than The Help. Way better than The Help. I think I just related to J June? June B? June B. Jumbi, the main character, she's a little girl, but I just relate to her so much that I'm like, 
that I I just love this book and it was like kind of sad too. I'm not to tell you why it's sad because it's so like ruined it, but like I love this book so. So if you like the help, I definitely recommend this book. It's great. Next book I read is the. Absolute True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alex E. I, I, don't, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Alexi, maybe? Uh, uh, maybe. I think it, it would be more Alexi than Alex E. <laughs> that just sounds weird. Okay, but, um, I don't really like this book that much. It's about a, a Native American, uh, a Native American uh, child like this is pretty modern times and it's about him to go to regular school like not school on the reservation but school in like um, out out of it <laughs> I, I'm like but I don't know I, it has doodles in it I really like the doodles but I just I just didn't really like like this book and lots of people die in this book. And I'm just like, how many people is that die in this book? Because there's, like, there's like five people that die in this book, maybe. I, I don't remember exactly how many people die in this book. But so many people die in this book. And I'm just like, why? Why do people just die? Like, it's just... I don't know why. But, yeah. And the next book I read is this book. Which I absolutely love this book. I want to get, like, everything she gets has written now. I think she has written like two or three other books. This is not a series though and it kind of begs me wrong because I speed sped through this so much. Like I had to force myself to put it down. But this is Beneath the Haunting Sea by Ruth. Wait, Joanne. Joanna. Joanna Ruth Meyer. That's who it's by. I, I, I was like reading it wrong. Um, but oh my god I love this book. It's like has some like magic in it, it has some like gods in it, like it has ocean in it, it has a girl be banished in it. I love this book. <laughs> Read it and it's just, just 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 look up and like you can just look it up on Amazon and like read the synapsis, is that what it's called there? But yeah, I love this book and I like all her books though. <laughs> Because it just is written like a song. Like you read it and you feel like you're listening to a beautiful orchestra or something. It's amazing. And I love it so much. This might be like my favorite book of all time. Like before this, I would say like my favorite book was probably Interview with the Vampire by uh, Anne Rice. Because I love the way Anne Rice writes. But like this may have topped it. And I love this. Okay, next is Code Talker by um, Joseph I have no idea how to pronounce that Bronch Hack I, I, I don't know I'll, I'll have names of authors down below too but um, I like this book I was kind of disappointed because after I read it it has like a little thing about the author and stuff and this is about the Navajo code talkers in World War II, right? It's been a while since I read this one. Um, I think it was World War II, though. Um, and how they had to use Navajo speak to, like, communicate in the war so the, like, Japanese didn't understand what they were saying. And I really liked it. Um, I was kind of disappointed in the end to find out it wasn't by someone who was Navajo at all he was just like a fan of the Navajos I kind of wish it was from like an actual like Navajo even if it's not their story if it was a story of their friend or something I don't know I kind of wish it was like that but it's a good book and if you like like learning about history and stuff I would still recommend like reading it I enjoyed it and I don't know if I said this but I'm getting rid of this book I'm gonna declutter that book Okay, next is The Kitchen House, which is another maid book. Um, I absolutely love this book. 
it was very interesting some parts i was just like oh my god i don't understand anything and the other parts it was like great it, this is about um that two it switches perspectives on two people is belle and what was her name like lavinia or something yeah lavinia so this orphan girl she gets orphaned and she has to get and she has to live uh in the kitchen house with this girl belle which Belle is an African-American maid, and then Lavinia is Irish. She's from Ireland, and she got orphaned, and she got to, had to be sent to the States. She's in, like, the South, because there's, like, maid and slavery. There's, like, slavery. It's not, this is slavery. This is 1700s or something. It's not, not maids. Run, run words. Okay. But, um... And it's about her struggles as she grew up because she is kind of raised by the by the slaves in this book and like and then as she grows she like gets accepted into like more the regular people because she's like irish and she doesn't look she's like white <laughs> and with red hair and like so and it's about her and stuff and it basically goes from when she was when she's like seven or nine until like she's like 26 or something I don't know I love these like long spanning things but like yeah I really like this book and if you like like stories like this I'm, I'm not good at describing things but yeah I would totally recommend this book okay and then after that book I actually finished the book I don't have here with me because it's actually not my own book it's a book I got for my brother for Christmas but I wanted to read it before I gave it to him and what was it called it was called The Land Founding as by Al Aleron Khan L A E R O N and then Khan like K O and G and it was basically like like if you like the witcher or have you ever played like Dungeons and Dragons it's like that in a book it's like it's like great it's more like Dungeons and Dragons it's like has stat sheets in the book and like it's like a game but in a book and it's amazing it's a series so if my brother likes it I probably will get him more and I'll probably get myself the series eventually but not right now. So I loved it. It was great. Um, I'll show you. Wait. One sec. I'm doing like a uh, stories archive. So it won't chill for a long time. But that's what it looks like. But it's chaos seeds. So if you just Google. I got it off of Amazon. So I'll leave everything down below. So you can find the books if you're interested. Next book is The Other World Leads by Jennifer Ann Kogler. Kogler? The GL is kind of messing me up, but I don't know. <laughs> I really enjoyed this book. It was different. It's a vampire book, but you don't really realize this is a vampire book until much later on. And it's very interesting. And it's a, like, it's not the kind of vampires you're used to either. It's like, an it's a very interesting take on vampires. I think this is would be good for like younger people. Like, like I would feel like middle schools will enjoy this book a lot more than I did. But like, I still enjoyed it. But it's like for that. So yeah, really good book. Next is this book, which is what the Amish can teach us about the simple life by Georgia. Varoski. This is what it looks like. I have a bunch of like bookmark thingies in here because there's a bunch of recipes on soap and stuff in here. I don't think I would read it again, but I really like all the like things that I bookmarked. So, yeah, and it was really uh, not a long book. It was hard to kind of get through because it's just a lot about like. It's almost like a biography, like, I, I can't really read biographies very well, but, like, but it's basically talking about stuff. 
and I really liked it. I got this uh, the last time I went to uh, the Amish place over in Ohio. I went to the one in Ohio that's like two hours out from Columbus. I don't remember the name, but I, like, I have some cousins over in Ohio and we all always went to the Amish like stores when we went there so like I got it there the last time I went which was like maybe three three or four years ago at this point but I finally got around to reading it but I really liked it and I want to try out some like it has a lotion recipe a soap recipe a laundry soap recipe like it has like a bunch of that stuff that I've been loving like Tr trying to like minimize waste and all that stuff so like th if this can help me with that that would be great next is Mel Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnson like it's two authors uh Frozen I love this book it's a series I want to get the others it's like magic fantasy all the things I love. It has a dragon in it, which is great. And yeah, it's about this girl who like goes and like goes on adventures. She has to escape her town and and go to a mythical land that lots of people don't think it exists, but it does and she gets there and it's great and you should read it. So actually, I think I might actually stop there for right now because this video is already like 18 minutes long and then I'll finish the last however many books, I, I don't know what, what number I'm on right now in a different video but uh, hopefully we'll film it very soon and then just like split it up so that this video is not like a bazillion years long. I was trying to speak fast but I wasn't speaking very fast but it kind of was. But, okay, so I'm going to come back, hopefully, and hopefully I'll put these right next to each other. So, yeah. Love you guys, and bye.